Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to be eating and training like Wolverine. I, Hugh Jackman. Now the reason why I'm doing this video this week is basically because I watched The Greatest Showman the other day and it just made sense. Also I'm gonna pop up on the screen a transformation that Hugh Jackman went through whilst he was training from Wolverine when he went from, I suppose, a young actor to the beast. Also just for reference, I know in the last video when I did my hair transplant I said I would give you a run through when I shave my head, so there we go, shaved. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert the clip at the very end of the video not to bore people of where Lucy shaved my head so you can see kind of all around it. But let's move on with the video. So for Wolverine's diet, there's a couple of different types online that you can do. I'll pull that one was just done a lot of research with. So basically it was the first link that came up on Google. And it is when he was training for the X-Men Origins Wolverine. So there's a couple of different diets and a couple of different types that he changed as he went through some of the different films that he was training for. So firstly, he, in this one, he fasts and then he trains straight away. So the first thing we're gonna have is just some BCAs. So I don't usually use BCAs, but today we're gonna be using the Power Punch one from USM, of course we are. Um, she used to use them for muscle building and um, helping a process called super compensation, which is a bit of bullshit. Because basically, BCA is one of those supplements which I don't think the majority of people need. As long as you're getting enough protein within your diet, you're going to be absolutely fine. I sometimes just use BCAs to pretty much to keep me hydrated. Like, I'm terrible at drinking water, so there's something that helps me. But I suppose an alternative, you could just use Robins, Robinson's or Orange Juice. But I'll leave a link anyway down below to the BCA that I'm using today. I also drop in a hint of lemon. So I'm going to swallow this down, and then we're going to kick off the workout which today is going to be a shoulders and abs workout. Yeah, doing shoulders and abs today, so we're gonna swallow this back. Now we'll kick off. So that was the workout done. Obviously, current circumstances from COVID means that we have to train from home. So that's why I'm using a single dumbbell for most of the exercises. Now, the workout itself, I feel like, is a bit of a joke. And it's either Hugh Jackman telling some fibbies or just not releasing the full workouts because that was an absolute peasant workout. And I feel like this is part of the problem when these people and celebrities put stuff up in like men's health or the workouts that celebrities are doing, they're not actually equating the full workouts that are in there. Like for example, this workout that's been put together is for to build more impressive upper body, essential to train shoulders, not just your chest and arms, adding shoulder width and making the frame wider to create an impression of a narrow waist. Now, Hugh Jackman has obviously built this physique through previous films and previous training. And yes, he may simply just do this short workout of two supersets, which was a shoulder press and lateral raises and then some crunches and then some and then because I didn't have a, a treadmill to finish off, I did ten times thirty seconds worth of skipping. So it took me like 
40, 45 minutes. However, his physique has been built by training previously over the years, doing heavy compound lifts, progressively overloading his training and eating well. Not just by doing this half hour cereal box workout. However, moving on, post workout, we are having one protein bar and I'm using the, of course, Trust Crunch USM bars because these are absolutely unbelievable. So he has one of these, post it's a, I feel like it's quite a lot of supplements. And we're having a post workout smoothie, which is 300 ml semi skim milk, pinch of cinnamon, 15 grams of 15 grams of ground cashew nuts and whey protein. So again, I'm using USM Blue Lab Whey because it's the shit. And this is to fuel muscle replenishment and growth of protein, and also increase muscle mass. Well. You. you ain't growing much muscle mass from that workout, I'm telling you right now. I will pop all the macros and calories up on screen. Don't go hard too far, so I'm just going to chug this back. So without fair ado, I'm just going to chug this back and finish off my bar. And then we're going to carry on the rest of our day. Ugh. I feel like it's very over the top having a whey protein shake and the protein bar after training, but let a man live. So I'll see you before the next meal. Thank you. So meal number two is gonna be just a good old standard oats, apple with some, some flower seeds and some berries mixed in. Now this is the only carbohydrate he really gets within this day. And I've not, after having that much protein so early on this morning, after spending about a good 30 minutes on the toilet, it's nice to actually have some carbohydrates in the system. I mean, oats is one of those staple meals where it's something that I'm used to having anyway, but it's kind of like going shopping for a new car and just picking up a forward focus. As breakfast go, it's safe, reliable, but it's a bit boring. No offense to anyone who drives a forward focus, by the way, but I guess stuck into this one, I will pop the calories and the macros up on the screen again for you. It's now, 11 a.m. But I'm hoping after this one, I'll be sat on the toilet for another 30 minutes, draining my insides out for the eye of the needle. So, three, two, one. this video because it's, it's kind of her fault that I'm doing this video because she made me watch The Greatest Showman the other day which <gasps> the I've, been put, I've been putting off for about a year. I thought it was going to be one of those films that was... You just didn't, you thought it was going to be girly or something, I don't even know, you just had It was really either going to be something that was going to waste, waste two hours of my life or I was going to end up sobbing like a, a schoolgirl on, 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 uh, on prom night and I sobbed like a, uh, a schoolgirl. I did, so... And anyway, we are on to meal number three which is going to be Turkey breast, I've got 200 grams. I've got broccoli, spinach, mushroom, and I thought it was no carbs, but I've just looked back and it is 40 grams of rice, which is basically nothing, which is nestled somewhere in there. And uh, I also got to mention with the oats, it was supposed to be, the oats are supposed to be soaked in. Shut up. We've got a new dog neighbor, it's really loud. The oats are supposed to be soaked in apple juice, but I just feel like that's disgusting. And that's like, that's like soaking. Oh no, it would give them an apple no. taste. That's like soaking your socks in piss before you put them on. No, no, it's not because apple juice is lovely. It's just counterproductive. Just paranoid that I didn't press the pause. I did. Nobody panic. That's actually all right. But. Quick, <laughs> quick, quick fast. Taste. Probably it's a weirdo. The Wolverine films that I used to do, I'd pop up a, a screenshot of how he used to look in the first Wolverine compared to how he looks for the later ones like Logan and what you have to do in the first films of Wolverine. You still haven't seen the X-Men films, have you? No. Wow. Please like this video and subscribe to the video to make Lucy Davis watch all the X-Men movies. Oh. But in the first one, when we'll go back and watch them, he actually in the scenes where he was top of scenes, had to go back and re-record them at the end of the film because the director said that he wasn't big enough in them. So because he used, to, but he used to diet three weeks before the movie and train and think that he was going to be in a uh, position where he would look like I suppose Wolverine. But without further ado, I'm also going to add some tomato ketchup to this because one, it's my video, and two, it's my video. So, 
Roll favour, Ju. Lucy D, count us in. Three, two, one, go. Go. We're all done. Lucy's also just doing a food update today. today. She's been talking more hair every day and basically what we eat is toast all day, don't you? I have a lot of toast in my diet. It consists of which, bread, bread and more bread. Which I would much rather prefer over just eating chicken and broccoli, but as meal two down, like it's now two o'clock. Usually I wouldn't even start eating till now because I eat intermittent fast. So having three meals by now is not doing my digestive system or Lucy's toilet much good. That's just not okay. Ew! The fuck? Oh, you wanker! Oh. What was that for? Fucking gotta start again. Lost all my clips. On oh, Palmer Core? Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, I hate! On that note, I'm gonna go and edit Sometimes. some of this video. Three, we are up to now, and it's pretty much the same as the last one. So we've got 200 grams of chicken breast, we've got some broccoli some asparagus and 40 grams of rice again, which is, there's actually no point in having rice when it's 40 grams. It's about a mouthful, to put that in respect. Do you know what I just noticed? I'm like, hey, I've just noticed on the top one of my ears, I've got like, it looks like a dog bite, I've got taken on the top one on the top of my ears, like one's what? circle and one's square. No, that's not, it's a dead weight for that. It is, honestly, I've got a chunk, I know my ears are big, but I've got a chunk taken out one on the top of them. Now, one of the things that I wanted to discuss was the question of, there's quite a few comments on some of the videos of people who have tried the Wolverine diet and stuff before and some articles about Wolverine and people who think he may be on the gear, steroids, the juice, the good shit. In my opinion, personally, I don't think or don't believe that he was on steroids for this movie. Now, the guy is six foot two and he weighs 190 pounds. Now, that's not a heavy guy for six foot two. I mean, I'm five foot 11, six foot on a good day. And I'm, I'm way about 200 to 205 pounds. And I'm not breaking any bodybuilding records. I think for a lot of people, it's just easier to account people's success to a external factor because it helps them and when they don't achieve it, they can blame it on something else that was out of their control, i.e. protecting their ego. So I believe for the movies, it was actually 90. Argue with me in the comments if you want. However, it's actually mad how big you can look when you are mega lean, taking a bit of pre-workout and got a pump on between scenes. Now, talking pre-workout, I'm actually gonna smash this in. It's actually a pretty boring meal again, boy. Rip bam, chewy. I'm actually gonna smash this in. Then I'm gonna take a pre-workout myself and do a leg workout because I feel like that workout before was a bit of a force. Now, at the start of lockdown, I wasn't actually taking pre-workout before in my sessions, but as it's gradually gone on, I feel like I need to dry sniff pre-workout to even get to sleep. I mean, my energy's been like that of a man with no energy. So yeah, we're gonna chug this down, inhale some pre-workout, and we're gonna smash on the leg session. But first, what I do whilst I'm eating is watch a Disney video or two. So, that is that meal complete. All the meals tend to last about five minutes. The, the portion sizes aren't considered that big for what's included in them. Oh yeah, I will drop up on the side the calories for that meal. But for now, we're gonna go and obliterate some legs and then probably tag on a couple of sets of car phrases at the end. So I was actually going to go and train legs outside, but of course a monsoon has just appeared. Yes, get in, win, come on, yes. And this is pretty much my home gym, two kettlebells and a step. So most leg workouts just kind of consist of multiple Bulgarian split squats and more squats. So instead we're going to be doing a workout in here. LD is going to be joining in. Thoughts on leg day? Oh, leg day. I actually really like training at home, so I don't have an issue. Oh, well, good for you. So basically, at 4 p.m. in the day, Wolverine has a snack of squirrel food, which consists of, and I quote, 150 grams of walnut, 75 grams of sunflower seeds, 75 grams of chopped apricots, 
50 grams of pumpkin seeds and 50 grams of goju berries. The goju berries in the house, so I've got sultanas. What I decided to do is it's just gonna, that's a lot of nuts by the way. That's a lot of nuts. I'm actually gonna bang it all into a webble. Is this guy like a full time squirrel? What the fuck's all that about? But what I decided to do is I'm gonna post workout, I'm gonna go for a quick walk. If the monsoon still is not with us. What I decided to do is I'm just chomping all these down in one go because I feel like I'll be firing rabbit pellets out the, the back end for the rest of the day. I'm gonna just kind of graze on these as we're going, so wish me luck. So that was the rubber food done. Work out done, obviously I've got injured again. Fuck my knee. And now we are on to meal four, five. It's amazing how many calories come from just a couple of nuts. That was, I think it was 1,900 calories. I popped the calories up on screen for the, for the snack, but it's pretty much like the biggest meal, or the caloric meal of the day. I've also just about to cook the last proper meal for the day and realise that I bought turkey strips instead of tuna. So, annoyingly, it's going to be a last minute dash to the shop. Little's finest yellowfin duck tuna acquired. So we're going to smash these in the pan for, I'm just going to the pan for, best results three to four minutes. So let's get cracking. So final meal, we have got two pieces of tuna steak and unlimited amount of vegetables. So Wolverine has this um, around 6 p.m. It's a little bit later than that, but biggest can't be choosers. Um, apparently it's a lean source of protein with natural creatine, omega-free fatty acids, which helps your body preserve protein. Now, I kind of agree, I don't really count veggies, I just kind of have them. And again, pretty much a bit of a boring meal. I'm gonna add some little mayo light because number one, it's my video. Number two, you know the score. I'm gonna waffle this down. I feel like this diet is not very sustainable for the average person, which is why when most people try celebrities diets, it lasts as long as a pair of paper pants. I'll also add this meal to my fitness pal. Put the calories and macros for you, you know the score by now. And I'm sure you don't wanna watch me eat this full meal because it's one, just really boring. And two, I just wanna enjoy at least one meal for today in peace. Final meal of the evening is. Don't tack click your fingers at me. What Another protein mean? shake. It's a meal. This is just of a carb scent, something in it. So I just put a half a banana instead. Two tablespoons. What? Well, I've even fucked up already. Two, two teaspoons, some tablespoons of yogurt, a drizzle of honey, and 15 grams of almonds. What's with the almonds? I don't like, know, it's why? weird, isn't it? Like, he fucking almonds eats are nuts so all day. Calorie as well. he's, like a, he's like a squirrel. <laughs> I'll pop the calories and the macros up for this one. Well, it's going to be fairly boring. The last one before that. I feel like his, his whole diet is fairly boring to be honest. Mmm, do you know what's nicer than that? Just with almonds in. And the protein shake. Warm water, yes, come on. Great, love it. Win. Hot water, yes. But we're just about to watch, um, we're watching Jeffrey Epstein, Filthy Rich. He's basically just a professional pair of it. But um, if you enjoyed this day as much as I did, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And whilst you're here, I can't actually make a thumbs up. Look at that. No one cares. Please make sure that, that you subscribe to my channel and uh, even hit that little notification. Is it a bell? Hit the bell button. I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>